Hi guys, welcome back to Infosec Train. My name is Divyani and today we have Mr. Bharat with us. He's a cyber security expert and a trainer at Infosec Train. Hi Bharat, how are you doing? Hi Divyani, I'm good. Hi everyone. Uh, okay, uh, so Bharat, uh, you know, while collecting information about uh, threats, we do have certain points in mind. And uh, there is something in information security that is the pyramid of pain. Uh, could you explain something about this? Definitely. Why not? Uh, so, uh, who created the pyramid of pain? Yeah, actually, pyramid of pain, it is, I believe, one of the very famous things in terms of defensive side of the organization or I would say in terms of defensive side of the cyber security. So, pyramid of pain basically was being introduced in 2013 it's not something which is new concept it is something which was from quite old and was being introduced by one of the security professional david j bianco in 2013 and the primary focus while creating this pyramid of pain of Dave, james bianco was that he was basically focused upon more of incident response threat intelligence and threat hunting side for those threat indicators or attack indicators that how we can collect them, what can be the sequence of it and which will be the easiest or the lowest hanging fruit to basically collect. So that's what Pyramid of Pain basically was being created and that's what the history of Pyramid of Pain is. Okay. And uh, what is the Pyramid of Pain? Like, is it something related to an attacker? Yeah, so as you all can see this particular diagram in front of you on screen. So this is basically what we do call as pyramid of pain. So as you can see, there are multiple things starting from hash values, IP address, domain names, network host artifacts, tools, TTPs. So this pyramid of pain is basically, we can say, created in order to understand that when we will be going beyond these attackers indicators, all these things which you are seeing in this colored diagrams, these are the attackers indicators. So when we collect these attack indicators, how tough is it is going to be from bottom to top for us in order to collect these parts. And same way, coming down from top to bottom, how vast information will be while we will be collecting. So if I do talk about IP address, so collecting attackers IP address is not a hard these days. We just have to go through certain websites like virus total. We have to go through certain websites like we do have another website alien vault OC, otx is there threat exchange is there so these websites can easily give us the uh, attackers using ip addresses for different different malware campaigns but what about the behaviors behaviors are very tough to basically collect that's why they are on the top of pyramid of pain where you do see these ttps so these are tough and as i say that behaviors are tough and it becomes very tough for attackers also to change the behaviors as we all know that attackers are also basically creature of human nature they also do have habits just like us so if somebody says us tomorrow that you have to wake up in a different way you have to go through a different uh, office wearing a different dress it will be very hard for us to accept same way it applies to attackers as well their behaviors changing themselves their behaviors basically becomes difficult for them as well so it will be tough for the attackers to change their behavior and this is the point where we as a security professionals can jump into and collect those particular behaviors to monitor them for a longer period of time so that's how pyramid of pain basically helps us in collecting threat intelligence to be precise Okay, thank you Bharat. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, so you guys, to learn more about the Pyramid of Pain, you can check our courses at www.infosectrain.com. Till then, bye-bye. See you guys in the next video.